Hi, son. Meet Lam and Daniel Chen. I am North Strasbourg. Uh, I'm a Norwegian Chinese uh, living in Japan. Today, I want to talk about what camera we use for our travel videos. Okay, first of all, I must make it clear I'm not a professional photographer. Okay, I'm a screenwriter. So, for as an ordinary amateur, you're not familiar with equipment. So, what is the best camera? You can carry it for your travel videos. Now I have 60. Okay, Canon 60. Why Canon 60? Because 5D is too heavy. Okay, even 60 is heavy, and I don't like the Canon lens. So I have Cosmos lens. So if I want to carry this camera, I have to carry 60 with all the German metals. Okay, heavy metals, heavy. I was on a cheap flight from Tokyo to Shanghai and the luggage, the weight is limited. So I was overweight. So the lady, a very nice lady, and uh, gave me a hint. And she said, you can take your camera out. So I took my camera out and all the lenses put in my car pocket. Okay, my luggage was okay. But you know, it's heavy here and the pocket with all the lenses, all the heavy metal. Anyway, we will see how beautiful it is performs, beside our practical problems. Okay, I have a Canon H810, now it's filming now. Okay, my brother is using it to film me. That camera I'll be using for three years. I like that camera very much, but I want to see how it performs. Okay, then some people recommended me Sony. Okay, Sony 6300. Everyone says it's beautiful. But I borrowed a 6000 to try if it work. If it is good, I will buy this for travel because it's small. But the lens, 16 to 50 lens. I don't think this is a great lens, okay? Then you need to have Kazes lens. Anyway, this is a possibility, I think. But other, I have very small. This one has been with me for three years. Okay, Sony uh, CX240. Most camera I've used for three years, still using. But just in case it will be broken, I bought a new one. But this is the version only exists in Japan, CX485. Okay, you, you can't find it anywhere else except Japan. And the menu is only in Japanese. So now I want to test four cameras, how it work. We start with Canon 6D, then followed by this Canon HA10 professional camera. Then I want to test small Sony, then I want to test Sony 6000. Or your automatic, fully automatic. As an amateur, you know you can do a lot of setting, this setting, that setting, setting, and it will take a lot of time to set. But for our people like me, amateur, which I'll put an auto, of course I don't think normally do auto, I always do manual, okay? But for older people, majority of people, they do auto. So we'll see how it works. What do we do? We film outside, we film inside, and uh, track the, uh, the the focus track, and uh, uh, the zoom, how the zoom works, and also the uh, st stability of the hand. We we'll test all those. Okay, then we will decide. I will decide what camera I'm going to use for my travel videos. Thank you. This is 6D Canon.
This is Canon HA10. This is Sony CX-485 This is Sony 6000 Now it is 60 with Canon lens. This is Canon HA10. This is Sony small camera CX840. This is Sony 6000. Now it comes to the conclusion. Okay, I'm not in a position to judge which camera is better and you will see the image and you are going to decide. First of all, 6D is absolutely a good camera, but not practical. Okay, for a traveler like me, if I don't use this lens, first of all, it cannot autofocus when you do the video. Okay, it does not go. So if you want to track someone, it won't focus. Okay, then you have to uh, st stand still and focus and do it. So it's not a movie, okay? In real life, people moving. And also, if, you're, if I don't like the Canon lens, I bring this Kazes lens, then I have to change lens. How about if you meet a beautiful person, okay? Just once, two seconds, or one second in your lifetime, you're not gonna see him or her again, you don't have time to change lenses. Only if you invite him or her, for coffee then you know what i mean it's not practical to bring all those things to travel okay and uh, this i think is very nice very light uh, easy to film everything is perfect fine but how about if you come to a million dollars view a view that uh, sensational that might not be enough okay then you need a professional camera the camera i'm filming now is ha10 i think that will do the job and that's the camera i used uh, I'm, I'm familiar i used it all these years for years and this camera uh this is the first time i handle this camera okay so many people say it's wonderful and of, of course I can change the lens. I don't have to use the kit lens. I can use this lens with the adapter. I think this is also very good. The only thing the kit lens if you do the focus, sorry, sorry, if you do the, uh, uh, I mean, I mean the zoom, it has a, the uh, me mechanical sound, goo -goo, goo -goo, goo -goo. you know, this you can record on your video. Okay, except if you put a mic outside like this, okay, but it's not practical, you cannot, you can always do this, you can hear the sound, and also the zoom is not very smooth, maybe 6,300 better, I don't know, but this one, 
I doubt if I want to use this for video camera as a video camera okay maybe for steel if you put steel and take maybe better than video camera maybe I need to test but at moment at this moment I don't think I'm going to buy one to replace my Sun camera plus Canon okay the conclusion is I'm going to use these two camera for my travel videos okay for moving travel on the bus on the train on the airplane or on the street I will use a small one so easy to carry okay but for real thing beautiful scenery for good uh, documentary or human story I will use this one okay but I still will carry this old camera which has been with me for three years as a soft camera it's uh, in Japanese we say Gokuro sama uh, you are tired okay I appreciate but I still will bring this little friend with me all over the world thank you for watching hope you find this video helpful bye bye